I have been receiving a lot of questions regarding on how can I be successful and produce the results that I wanted despite I have done my very best. That best could be such as reading books, they have undergone some mentorship programs, they have done self-studying, they have undergone watching tutorial videos, etc., etc. In short, they have already done their very best in order to produce what the results that they are desired to have. Now, I want to share with you the two categories that are affecting your trading result. Number one is self-management. I teach self-management to all of my mentees on their first day under my mentorship program because self-management comprises 80% of your chance of being successful. The other 20% would be trading system. You have to remember 80% of your success comes from self-management and the rest of the 20% would be coming from trading system. In a business setting, this self-management could be some sort of mindset, goal setting, etc., etc. And the trading system could be strategy, okay? Even you have a good marketing strategy but you don't have goals, you don't have mindset, I don't think you will achieve your goals even you are you are the one that has the very best marketing strategy in the world now in connection with trading those trading system comprises of such as technical analysis fundamental analysis risk management market sentiment or market psychology trade management system development portfolio management and etc so a lot of people are trying to focus on learning technical analysis fundamental and some sort of a little bit risk management sentiment analysis etc etc but they tend to forget about self-management for example i'll give you one thing regarding fomo fomo is under self-management this is the root cause of all problem FOMO is not a problem from TA or FA or even your trading system. You could have the most robust trading system, but if you could not address FOMO, you will fail definitely. For example, in your trading system, the stock says or your trading plan says that you buy stocks at around 2 pesos per share. The market currently is now trading at around 2.20 or 2.5 pesos per share. Because of fearing of missing out, you chase the stock only to find out it will retrace or correct dramatically next day after. So it has nothing to do with your trading system. It has something to do with your self-management. Another thing is being not able to stick long enough. I have seen many people who tried to attend different kind of strategy, different kind of mentor ranging from trend following, scalping day trading they will do it for like two to three months then after the system won't work they will jump into another again they will try scalping they will try day trading they will try position trading and if all nothing's work they will try to jump from stock market to currency market like forex then if no luck strikes to them they will try to transfer to another asset class like cryptocurrency then futures market, derivatives, option, etc., etc. So failing to stick long enough is also a self-management problem. This is the root cause of all of your problem. Trading system has nothing to do with your self-management problem. I remember I have one client before that I have gave that person a trading plan because that person wanted to get out of a losing position because that person is like down for around negative 30 or even 20 percent i gave that person some sort of exit plans but that person was unable to execute because that person is fearing of cutting losses so again it has something to do with self-management not trading system i hope i have contributed a little knowledge to you in order for you to produce the output that you are desiring to have.